So very, very, very simple. If, if Michael would give me a straight attack, so I, I would not punch like this. Okay? Or like, I would not punch like a boxer, or maybe this side. So if he punches with the shoulder, I punch with the shoulder, what you see is mostly this one. I hit you, you hit me technique. Therefore, you look sometimes very handsome. You, know, you cannot fight like this. The idea is, because Wing Chun is being created for the average person. If you go back, the founders were two women. So they're not built strong, so they cannot afford to take a punch. So in, in my case, or Michael, we, we, we're professionals, so we train. But still, for the average person to have the chance relatively in his own environment, where he every day goes out after work, he wants to protect in his own environment himself. So we're not teaching people to fight, let's say, Mr. Mike Tyson. Because if he wants to do that, he must train every day, three hours in the morning, three hours in the afternoon. So no break. Different food, different uh, schedule of his life, but then he's professional again. So this is really for the average person in his own environment to defend himself. So he needs a very intelligent, very scientific, smart uh, self-defense system. So if Mike would punch me, we keep our shoulders very straight, you see? So when you look at the general in boxing, your target is your, your face, your nose. If I punch, this is the longest, the jab is the longest weapon, but where's my face? So if I really look here, this is the length I'm using, this part. But in Wing Chun, we punch, we use the whole arm. So if he gives me a jab, I move in, my arm is always longer. So compare to jab. If I put my shoulder in, just like boxing, where you have a lot of the time this type of situation in boxing. Okay? So also, we, our force and our punch comes from the elbow, which I will go a little bit later into it, how, how we get strong punches. So if, if, if you punch me just a normal punch, if I'm outdoor, my elbow low, it's a substitute for the triangle we have here. If you just leave your hand here, look, the effect here, I, I split his force, deflected here, same as when I'm from outdoor, same position here. If I'm indoor, I lock my fist. Okay, or if he comes cross, I lock my fist. I don't leave it banded, so otherwise he has a hole here. Huh? That looks like a Swiss cheese, you know, like the cheese with the holes. <laughs> just goes in here, all right? So really the idea is each time, no matter I'm indoor or outdoor or diagonal, it's the same punch for you. It's the same punch. The point is now, since we're exercising, I have to stay still, so indoor I must lock my fist so it cannot intercept. If I leave it here, you see what's happened? Outdoor I must leave it low. But in action, if he punches me slow motion, I move and look. By the time I affect this already cut, this angle with interception, with the force cuts him already. And then the time when I hit him, it's going to happen this. Look, it's the same momentum, very slow, you see? It's the same punch. If it comes diagonal, it's the same punch. Since I'm standing here, and we just exercise a little bit, Let's say I'm just the outdoor. You see, I'm only crossing my punch. So the idea is really I'm doing the same punches. If I would do here and chain punch, you cross the same. See? So I'm not trying to punch his limbs. I don't care about his limbs. And our idea, this is a general in here. That guy wants to hurt me. This is his tool. This is his soldiers. So I don't want to start the punch like this. A lot of people do mistakes. They punch against the limbs. So when he comes, I really go in. I don't care about he has a fist there or not. See? In this case, I'm outdoor. It could be I'm indoor. Then I lock in. Because I don't want to stay here so he doesn't get in here. Punches. See? So if I'm keep punching, if I outdoor slowly, so you see? Now I have to lock. If, if Michael doesn't lock, so this means I can intercept totally. So therefore, we just do, since we're posing here right now, not really fighting. Also, what you learn once you have learned these punches, it's also to learn the balance, balance forward and backward. So if I do this, you see? So this is very, very difficult. A lot of people just punch in the air. You need to do lots of partner exercises where you can emphasize force. A lot of people do lots of aerobics, as I mentioned. They punch here, make steps. It's all fantastic. Drills are good to get a very good co uh, coordination. But more important is also put force you have to deal with force, how you can absorb or deflect the force. And the last thing in any exercise we do here in our system is anger. Because a lot of martial artists don't practice that last issue that's happened in the street is anger. Because this is a component you cannot calculate. Even a small person is angry, he can knock out a very big person. Because if he has the willpower, the anger, you never know how big that anger is. So we try to put this in. Okay? The only thing we don't do is, is punching for real. So uh, also, to, to exercise this, later on we put our foot forward. It's the same thing. This is basically just control. Let's say he's a boxer and jabs me. <laughs> I can control his legs. So I can control all the, or cross the other way around. <laughs> so I just, 
No, it could be a kickboxer, not just a boxer. Maybe he wants to j j move in and do something. Boom! So I can be safe. He doesn't kick me. Or I'm here. He doesn't kick me. If you see a lot of martial artists, if you, if you go in, bam, bam, and then bang. You see lots of these things that come with the knees. So this is also preventing us. We have the absolute control over our, our opponent. So if you just step with this, maybe it's better for the angle. So you see? So I want to do this and hit him maybe, or just with a punch. Okay, so I can control him. If he wants to kick me here, I can barely see, see what he does or feel what he does. So all in Wing Chun has to do with the sense of touch. It's very, very important. So what I'm going to let you do is to watch a little bit when uh, Joe and Michael does this with the steps, just chain punches, no kicks. So just two together, just to punch this first program. Okay. Start slowly and then go a little bit faster. So here you can see, if, if he doesn't lock his uh, elbow inside, so Michael rushes in. We just have to practice normally. Try your best. Okay. And if the force is too strong for Joe, he can switch around with his legs. Just just angle. So you start to get flexible. So you balance to the left, to the side, to the front. You're stabilizing here. Okay, stay more in the middle. Yes. Another thing is, after this, you see how, he, how much he has to deal with the balance, going left, right, okay? And the most important thing is you don't try to get here in, in the problem that, that to hit the guy's limbs. Always hit this computer, always hit his uh, head. Okay, thank you.